Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. I got a good old text there, and they're saying that you should do a video on one more topic on um that you know when just say for instance um a person the lad is on not that much wage yeah and the woman is his girlfriend and she makes like a lot, a lot more money than than him yeah and she's really like absolutely really loves him for him yeah um would um sh can you talk about that yeah I will. So here it goes right now. So when you're in relationship for so many years, yeah, and then you're in the working world there, or it could be not that much wage coming in for um for you maybe, yeah, as in the boy, yeah. And um, you found a girlfriend there. She's bringing in good amount of money yeah okay and then she literally falls in love with you in the relationship and then you be thinking well how is she with me why is she with me why is she with me this is weird i don't bring in much money to the table. I don't make that much. Why is she with me again? There's no reason. She likes you for you. Hmm. She must have lost the bet or something. You know? And why would they question them th themselves like that? Keen? Well, because they were saying, this never happens. I don't make that much money. So, so how... How would I be getting girls, as in successful-wise? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's why they'd be beating themselves up. It's like, Jesus, she must have lost the bed or something, something there. She makes, she's very successful. Then this other lad, yep. And then it's like, no, she actually likes you for you. Oh my god, that's mad. Yep, it is. Is that a good thing, Keen, or a bad thing? It's a good thing, to be fair with you. You know, think about it. Super, like, just say, for instance, rich women, yeah, comes to you, they're like that, yeah. You could be, say, for instance, right, you could be stuck in shelves in super value there and you just flirted with the girl that's your age to say. Yeah, and she's making whatever wage higher than you anyways. Yeah. And then she likes you for you. You asked her on a date and all there and then you say, you're just kind of like afraid to say, hey, I don't bring, bring that much money to the to the table though, like monthly. Don't worry about that there, okay? Don't worry about that. But I don't want you to, you know. It's like, no, God, no. You be paying. If Hopefully now if we um be more than this, maybe we can work out something, you know. Okay, cool. And then you go through the relationship grind. And then after a while... A couple of years there and you're still working them um, there nothing wrong with that and then she says to you actually i love you and then you'd be doing the same then if you like her really love her for her there just for her not for her money you know yeah and then bam you're getting down on one knee giving in the ring there and she says yes, right? Yeah. Does that mean then Keen um he uh, this person would be jealous that um she's more successful than this guy? Um. No, the guy won't be um jealous. Why? Because he likes doing what he's um doing there. 
like that and he's happy with it there you know yeah i get you but like yeah but like i'm paying like just say for instance right this boy is paying the mortgage off the house there a thousand euro or two thousand euro there monthly into the house there for the rent for the mortgage yeah and then for her then she'll say to herself that's my boyfriend there at least he's paying something that's what i like about these boys there they actually put in the hard work there doesn't matter what type of job they have there that's what i'm interested in there like that don't care if i'm a supermodel or a billionaire trillionaire there whatever it is there at least he's actually paying his way to be fair he's going down to the grocery store and buying us meat and products and everything there shampoos and he's buying me brand new handbags bursting out his, his um savings for me there like that even though i kind of don't want that there bursting out his wallet but like i can almost like pay him back nearly on that you know but anyway at least he's shown his love is the main thing you know as in like taking care of things in the house there and other bits and pieces the relationship is like stronger than ever to be fair with you it's more than just freaking electricity it's like a bolt of lightning electricity now compared to other relationships i bet you you know oh really hmm whoa that's mad so i am doing the right thing then i think like, yes you are honey thanks so so um what now? Want to make the dinner or... Um, yeah, you make the d uh, dinner, honey. Okay. So, we're, tonight we're having a nice lamb. Mmm. With gravy and beans. Nice. And then, you make it there. This is beautiful, honey. How's work? Oh, good. Yeah, just stole... Uh, sold um, two real estate houses there. Up in um, Dublin, Ireland, Hoth. Yeah. Big commission there. Oh, we're raking in the money we are, honey bunny. That's it. Nice. And then would the person, man, be uh, jealous? Nope. Why is that keen on your uh, behalf? Because you're living in that lifestyle too now of hers. Ah, now I get it. That's why he's not like really, really uh, that jealous as much. No. It's basically, to be fair with you, yes, it does at, be attached to this. It's like living at your, f at the family home, yeah, and then doing the small uh, minimum wage job part-time or full-time, yeah, bringing in not that much money, but you're covered by the family, basically, for everything else. Yeah, I get you. I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. So, does, is that a good thing, Dean, or a bad thing? To be fair with you, it's in the center. It's in neutral. Don't know, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. I'd leave that up to you guys, the viewers. There. Personally, for me, it's going to be neutral. Why? Because just some girls are way more successful than the boyfriend. Or the husband, yeah, okay. And dragging in more money, if you want to call it that way, yeah. And he's bringing things to the table as well. There, even though he's bursting his ass off for it, yeah. She will actually, that woman will actually appreciate it. Appreciate it way more, how much struggle and everything that man has been through there. To actually save this, say, for a couple of thousand euro just to buy his um, own car or something like that there. It's like, I can see the stress pouring out of him. I can see this there. And once he actually saves, like, 200 quid, he's literally, ah, now I can buy a brand new hoodie or something there. Or maybe might go out for a nice meal with my wife, basically. And that's what I love about him. There, none of this shite there about, hmm, I want the successful 
man. So that means then I'll become double successful. I'm working myself and he's working there. We bring in freaking a pile of cash there. But, or we're going, going to do is, that's the way. Really? Yeah. Girls actually, girls in this world, to be fair, at this moment in time, in Hollywood, in basically all over the world, some successful women actually like that of a man. Hustling and bustling, basically what I just said in this YouTube video. And that's what women love. Really? Yep, the successful women love it all the way. Then there's other women out there, to be fair with you, that will say, not that successful. That means that in money-wise, that means then you are a boring person. Yawn. Really? Yep, some girls are like that. Why is that, Keen? Ask their parents. You have to go to college to get a good education. There equals a good old job living. You don't come from them? Yeah, okay, that, that is true, Keen. You win with that one, actually. Yeah, fair, yeah, fair, Keen. Facts, yeah, facts. You know, and it is true. Everyone knows it. You know, with that one. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next video.